All right, we are ready for chapter nine in the case of the dirty clue. The next morning, Noel said, I think the dirty white car has gone back to Arizona, Mr. Merlin. Well, Noel, it certainly could have, but you don't know that for sure, Mr. Merlin said. And a good detective never assumes anything. He or she investigates every possibility before coming to a final conclusion. So I'm going to give you one more secret code clue to help you do that. Usually, that made the third grade detectives happy, but this time, they didn't say anything. Most of them believed Noel was right. The dirty white car had probably left town. Noel thought Mr. Merlin looked disappointed. Amberly stood up. As president of the Dr. Smiley Fan Club, I say we don't give up. The class applauded. Noel stood up too. I wasn't going to give up, Mr. Merlin. Anyway, Noel thought, she couldn't give up. Her list of things to buy with the $50 reward was now up to five pages. Well, I honestly didn't think any of you would, class, Mr. Merlin said. He walked to the chalkboard. He wrote D-J-J-C, A-H-S-O-G-R-V-N-M-D-J-Q-O. I'll even tell you that it's another key word code, he said, and the key word is something I'm always telling you and what I'm proud that you remembered. Now, I'll let you work on it in groups for 15 minutes. Noel, Todd, and Misty pulled their desks together. This is really hard, Misty whispered. What is Mr. Merlin always telling us that we remembered? Open your spelling books. Now it's time to study science. We'll work on the secret code clue tomorrow. Straighten your desk. Have a good weekend. Well, yes, he says all of those things, Todd agreed, but I think the key word is something we've just been talking about. Noel grinned. Never give up, she said. Right, Todd said. Let's test it and see. He wrote out, never give up. He crossed out the duplicate letters, N-E-V-R-G-I-U-P. He wrote out the keyword alphabet. Underneath it, he wrote out the regular alphabet, and I'll show you all what that looks like. So here's the keyword alphabet and the regular alphabet. Noel studied the secret code clue, DJJC. A-H-S-O-G-R-V-N-M-D-J-Q-O. D in the keyword alphabet was L in the regular alphabet. She decoded the rest of the message. Look in used car lots. Yes, Noel cried. That's the one place we haven't looked for the white car. Noel told Mr. Merlin what the secret code clue was. Why do we have to look there? Amberly asked. I'll tell you after you've done your detective work, Mr. Merlin said. There were five used car lots in town, so after school, the third grade detectives broke up into two groups. Noel and Todd would search two of the lots. The rest of the detectives would search the remaining three. When we finish, we'll meet at Joanne's restaurant, Noel said. We'll compare notes. We can also have snacks, Joanne offered. First, Noel and Todd headed for Billy Bower's Best Buy. When they got there, Noel told Billy that they were looking for a dirty white car with Arizona license plates. I've got plenty of dirty white cars, Billy told them but I don't have one with Arizona license plates. Noel started to leave, but Todd said, maybe we should look underneath them just in case. Do you mind, Noel asked Billy. Billy shrugged. Be my guest, he said. If we don't find a white car with an Arizona license plate, Todd said, we may have to start looking underneath all the other white cars in town. Noel hoped not. That sounded like really dirty work, but she also knew that police officers sometimes had to start their investigations all over. For the next several minutes, Noel and Todd looked underneath all of Billy Bower's white cars. No red dirt anywhere, Noel said. It's all this ugly gray color. Next, Noel and Todd headed for Carl's car barn. When Noel told Carl that they were looking for what they were looking for, he said, Well, young lady, you're in luck. It's parked at the back of the lot. I'd show it to you myself, but I have another customer. Noel and Todd hurried to the back of the lot. They found the white car. It wasn't dirty but it had Arizona license plates. Noel and Todd got down on their knees, looked underneath the car. Red dirt, Todd said excitedly. I think we may have solved the mystery. I think so too, Noel said. She took an envelope out of her pocket. She scraped off some of the red dirt into it. But first we need to test it in Dr. Smiley's laboratory, she added. We'll use Carl's phone to call Joanne's restaurant and tell the rest of the third grade detectives to meet us there instead. And that's the end of chapter nine.